Hello, I'm uh, Martin Ettenberg. Uh, I'm at Photonics West, and this is Princeton Infrared Technologies, and today I'm going to talk to you about shortwave infrared used for machine vision. So, shortwave infrared is a part of the infrared spectrum beyond what the eye sees. In the, uh, the eye, of course, sees the visible from 400 to 750 nanometers, and then there's the near infrared, which is 750 nanometers up to about 1100 nanometers, and that's where silicon uh, is able to detect. After that, it moves into the shortwave infrared, which is 1.1 out to 2.6 microns, where glass no longer transmits anymore. Shortwave infrared has a lot of application in machine vision, because shortwave infrared can see things that can't be seen in visible or other wavelength bands, and one of them is water detection, uh, shown here. Up there is our 1280 by 1024 uh, high resolution camera, which can do 95 frames a second, use a machine vision application for high resolution. And in shortwave infrared, you can see me now holding the bottle. This is water. Water is highly absorbing and it turns black. And so there are many applications of machine vision where you actually want to see water. Uh, ripeness of fruit, being able to tell nuts from shells, twigs from leaves, uh, paper drying process. There are many applications where water is, it definitely needs to be able to see. And more robotics being moved into machine vision, the robots need to be able to detect these various things, whether it's picking ripe fruit or uh, finding uh, potatoes with defects in them. Uh, so this is one of the many applications for shortwave infrared. In addition, shortwave infrared is used for actually thermal applications. Anything above about 150 degrees C will be emitting very big in the shortwave infrared. And the beauty with with SWIR imager, especially in gas, is you can image these at fast rates in real time through glass optics. So you don't need to protect your cameras uh, with expensive germanium or sapphire lenses or optics. You can use standard NEMA enclosures that are glass sealed, and that allows you to actually see in these machine vision applications and pick up things that you can't see otherwise. Now, another example, for a lower cost solution, a lot of people are starting to use line scan cameras, shown here. This is a 1024 element line scan camera that can not only see shortwave, but also visible light. So we can go from visible out to shortwave infrared. And in this case, we're looking at water and acetone. Water in the shortwave infrared, as you just saw, is black, but acetone is clear. And being able to pick up different feature sets in the shortwave infrared allows robots and robotics and robots and other objects to be able to detect things that they can't detect possibly with your eyes. So in machine vision applications, a lot of people like to use a line scan camera. In this case, we're going to be showing a demonstration of our line scan camera, which is a 1024 element. They see visible and shortwave infrared. And there's a train passing by carrying two liquids. And you'll see that in this demonstration here. This is the Princeton Infrared Technologies Line Cam 12, a 1024 element helium gallium arsenide linear ray. We are imaging two clear liquids, acetone and water, in both the shortwave infrared and with visible light. The camera is the only line scan camera that can see both wavelength ranges. As you can see, the image is now showing visible, now it's showing shortwave infrared, and the bottle on the right goes black, and then it goes clear again in the visible light, but when it's illuminated with shortwave infrared light, as it is now, it goes black again. Acetone, though, in both shortwave infrared and visible, both stay clear.